As an auto enthusiast and solo tech reviewer, I write a lot and record extensively, usually by myself. Occasions like drone crashes or instances when I spot something I actually want to record often occur. These situations can be attributed to work equipment operations that have led to, on more than one occasion, collisions <laughs> with the trees. So, when Lawaken reached out to me with the latest AR glasses, the Lawaken 1, claiming to offer features such as mobile navigation, Bluetooth music, sports data recording, especially 4K FPV recording, and AI voice assistance. I couldn't wait to try them out. You see, now I can simply say, start the recording and effortlessly capture the moments I desire without any hassle. Putting jokes aside, after spending several days with the Lawaken AR Glasses prototype, nearly losing a drone and nearly breaking a leg, here's my in-depth real-life user experience. Starting with the unboxing, inside the package, you'll find a pair of Lawaken 1 glasses, which we'll take a close look at shortly. By the way, the pouch included is specifically designed for wiping smudges from the glasses we never needed. Additionally, there's another box for accessories, which includes a detailed English menu, a proprietary magnetic charging cable, two nose pies, two anti sleep pies, and a small package for installing a myopia correction frame. You can choose to purchase this separately based on your needs. Personally, I didn't require it. So, these are all the accessories included in my package. Now, let me walk you through the design of the Lawaken glasses. On the front, the first thing we notice is the sunglasses, which can be easily taken off. Beneath them, we are greeted by the light sensor and 8 megapixel camera. Moving further down, we find optical waveguide. And beneath that, the nose pads. You can conveniently switch to other sizes for your comfort. When we unfold the glasses, I was pleasantly surprised to find that, due to the flexible temples, the fit wear on both a giant head like mine and my friend Harry's beautiful small head. On the bridge, we spot the wear detection sensor and two holes for mounting the myopia frame. There's more embedded technology in the temples. On the left side, we have the power button, a working status indicator, and a speaker. On the right temple, there's the camera button, two microphones, and another speaker. Speaking of the speakers, there are also two small holes at the top to prevent sound leakage from the sides. Seems pretty badass. Anyway, I discussed the sound experience in the last part of this video, so stay tuned for that. Additionally, there is a magnetic charging port on the right temple tip. Another notable feature is the side touch area on the right, where you can swap left or right to choose different items. But is it responsive of the touch experience? Let's dive in. But before we finally get into that, let me show you what you will see through the glasses. To provide you with a genuine viewing experience, everything you see in this video is captured in real time, without any after effects like you might find in your facial videos. To achieve this, we've attached a phone to the glasses. It may not look the most elegant, but it will give you a crystal clear view of what I see. You might think, oh, that looks a little bit small, but in reality, when you wear the glasses, the image you see is equivalent to a projection of about 300 inches located approximately 50 meters in front of your eyes. So it's actually quite large. Alright, to simplify things, I'll place the app interface and the glasses interface side by side so that whenever we perform an action in the app, you can see the real-time reaction. The app is quite detailed, but for the sake of brevity in this video, I focus on showing you some of the key features you may find interesting. From the app, you can directly start a workout, and then the map will load. Press go, and it will initiate a countdown from 3 to 0, getting you ready to go. As you can see on the app, it displays a little bit more information, while on the glasses, it shows four main features. This is good, because when we are cycling, we don't want excessive information to distract us. You can choose to stop or resume at any time you want. Well, this demo is just a short one and didn't record any sports data. I'll demonstrate that in a later real-life test. Back to the app. You can click on album to view all the photos and videos you've taken. Click on glasses settings and you can configure more parameters for the glasses. In the camera settings, you can choose the recording duration and video resolution. Another great feature I like to showcase is the navigation. It displays clean and direct messages. Head north. Then turn right. Complemented by the voice assistant. And from my tests, it proves to be very accurate. 
All right, that pretty much concludes the overview of the app and the Galaxy's interface. Now, let me address some of the questions that you might be most interested in, or at least the ones that I consider most important when reviewing AR glasses. Firstly, let's discuss whether the Slavic glasses are bright enough for clear outdoor visibility. What I just showed you was against a black background. Now, let me change the background to give you a sense of what's like in different scenarios. Here is what it looks like in a broad lit indoor setting. Now, let's switch to broad daylight outdoors. It should be clear enough to see everything as I move the glasses around, right? Now, let's look at an evening situation. Lastly, the night scenario. I think the results speak for themselves. No need for further comment. Speaking of night scenarios, they also offer specific night glasses for night riding. In the comparison video, you can see that these glasses significantly boost the light compared to regular sunglasses, making night riding safer. Secondly, let's talk about the responsiveness of these glasses. I was initially skeptical about glasses like this, but from the test, as you can see from the footage I've provided, there doesn't appear to be any significant lag. To be honest, I didn't feel any noticeable delay, so I'll confidently say that it's responsive. The third question is whether these glasses are comfortable to use. Well, after spending almost a four day riding a bike with them, I have quite a bit to say. is good. I didn't find them too heavy or uncomfortable even after an extended period of riding. I also tried them with different helmets and they fit well. The only thing you need to watch out for is not letting the helmet strap block the side touch area. When reviewing AR glasses like this, I always consider whether they might make me feel sick or not. Fortunately, I felt perfectly fine after testing them. The only thing that made me feel unwell was not bringing enough water and being incredibly thirsty. <laughs> so I wouldn't worry too much about feeling queasy during regular use in the future. Another important aspect to consider is the thermal performance due to the compact design of the glasses, which could potentially lead to software crashes. To my surprise, they didn't get uncomfortably hot that I couldn't bear. The only time I noticed a significant heat was after recording videos while waiting for them to sink to the foam. However, this shouldn't be a major issue as I usually do that after taking the glasses off. Speaking of which, you might be wondering what the footage looks like. It supports a video shooting of up to 4K resolution, but due to the current firmware limitations, here are some 720p footage samples I took. I would say it's suitable for viewing on a phone or even good enough for casual TikTok content creation. The images look sharp. However, it's important to note that it's nowhere near the quality and stabilization of a dedicated action camera. I'm not sure if future firmware updates can improve this aspect. Nevertheless, one of the best things about the Lawik 1 is its ability to instantly record FPV videos with just voice instructions like take a photo or start a recording. This convenience makes a great choice as a secondary camera. As I mentioned earlier, the Lawik 1 features stereo dual speakers. The best part is that it's not in an in-ear design, so you can enjoy your music while still being aware of your surroundings, which is crucial for cycling or engaging outdoor sports activities. But how does it sound? Let's have a listen, and please let me know if you like it. In conclusion, I must say I'm thoroughly impressed with the Lawiken 1 AR glasses after several days of heavy use, while I've reviewed similar products in the past, none have proven as practical for daily use as the Lawiken 1. In the realm of outdoor activities like commuting, cycling, and fitness, 
will offer inconveniences such as carrying multiple devices, disruptive moments when capturing memories with the smartphone, and limitations of conventional action cameras. The Lawiken One AR Glasses address all of these challenges in one elegant solution, making the one-time purchase that you will genuinely appreciate. As a tech reviewer, I understand the complexities of integrating multiple functions into a compact device, and I'm pleasantly surprised by the stability and the real system crashes experienced while using the Lawiken One. If you share my passion for outdoor adventures, I highly recommend these glasses. If you are interested in the Lawiken One Air glasses, please check out the link in the description and secure yours now. As it's currently in crowdfunding with the best price offer. Thanks for watching. Sammy will see you in the next one. Bye bye.